Hi everyone, I am Abhisar Auja and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this session, we will create a video player using Python. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel, like the tutorial and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. And before we start, I hope the screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section. Before starting, let us have a simple question to brush up on our knowledge. And your question is, which of the following is the correct extension of the Python file? And your options are, the first option is .python, the second is .py, third is .pl, and the fourth one is .pj. Please answer in the comment section below and we will update the correct answer in the pinned comment. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. And insightful for you guys, if you are focused on building strong fundamental skills for career growth, in that case, you can check out a free course to learn Python basics with a completion certificate from SkillUp by Simply Learn. You can check the Python basics free SkillUp course with that link in the description box below. And now moving on, we'll start with a project that is creating a video player using Python. So for that, First, we will create a folder and name it as create video player using Python and inside we will open the command prompt and type the command code space period and press enter. It will open our Visual Studio code as I would be coding in the Visual Studio code only. You can code in any IDLE that you are suitable with. So moving on, first I will create a file with the name video Now to start with our project, first we need to install the Python modules. We don't have to write new code for everything. We can use existing code written by experts that are in the form of modules. So first we will install the modules and the modules we would require here would be the first one would be tkinter and tkinter is a python module that is used to develop GUI that is graphical user interface and there's no need to install any module for that as the tkinter module is a part of the standard python library so it's already installed if you have installed the python. So you don't have to install the take enter. We will also use date time module here. So for that we'll write the command pip space install date time and press enter. As you can see that it states that the requirement is already satisfied. I've already installed the date time module. So I don't have to install that. You can just write the command pip space install space date time and you can easily install the date time module. And moving on, uh, we will also install another module that would be TK video player. For that, we will write the command pip space install TK video player <coughs> and press enter. You can see that the requirement is already satisfied as I have already installed the module so I don't have to install it again you can just write the command or you can search uh, in the browser that TK video player installation you would be directed to the TK video player official page there you will find the command to install the module so moving on we will start building our video player so for that First, we'll import the packages. So, first, we'll import all the classes from Tkinter. Next, we will import date time. We imported the date time module. 
now we will import t enter as tk we have made an alias for this so we will use tk only so now we will import the field dialog box so that we can open the files that we want to browse and play on our video player so for that we will import from t kinter import build log now we will import tk video player that would be tk inter video class from tk video player module so for that we will write from tk inter video <coughs> now we have imported all the packages now we will use the tk inter module and create the tk inter window in which we will create our video player so for that we will write a command that would be the root equal to the alias name that was tk dot tk so this is the simple command that would create a root window and it would display it on the screen so for that we'll write root dot main loop we'll save this program and run it <clears throat> you could see that the take enter window has appeared on the screen so this is a take enter window so in this window only we'll create a video player so we'll start with that process now uh, as you've seen the take enter window i will show you again so we will give it a title as we have written tk here it's default that tk would be here as we have made the alias name as tk only so we will change it and we will write as simply video play So for that we'll write the command root dot title and inside we will write what we want to name the take enter window. We will name it as simply video. Yeah. So take enter provides many methods and one of them is geometry. This method would be used to set the dimensions of the take enter window. As you have seen it has appeared in the small manner so we will set its dimensions and it would also be used to set the position of the main window of the user's desktop so for that we'll write the command root dot geometry and inside we will set the x-axis as 800 x and y axis with pixel 700 and from above it would be 290 that would be the x axis it would be 290 pixels down i'll show you like what it would be and y axis it would be 10 so we will save this <coughs> and then the program so you can see that we have set the x axis is 800 y axis is 700 and 290 pixels that was x axis we have shifted it from 0 to here that is 290 and 10 from above that is on the y axis and we can see that it has changed the name that is it's now simply video player so we have changed the title of our tick enter window so moving on now we'll create a frame so for that we will write the command frame equal to 
tk that was the allies for the tk term dot frame and inside we will pass root and we will just pack it so for frame if you don't know i will just tell you about the frame a frame is a rectangular region on the screen and it can also be used as a foundation class to implement complex widgets it is used to organize a group of widgets so if you want to organize any button or any image so you can just create a frame and organize those widgets into the frame and we have used the pack here so the pack geometry manager packs widgets relative to the earlier widget tkinter literally packs all the widgets one after the other in the window we can use options like fill expand and site to control this geometry manager that is pack so we will be seeing that pack and we will use it many times so you will see the functioning of that also so now we will save it and run it so now we will place an icon here for simply video player we want to place an icon so for that we have created an icon you can create your own and i have stored it in this logo png and these images we would be using in our project only that would be for the for the forwarding and backwarding of the video so we'll paste all these pictures here and now we will place the logo.png logo png file that is we have created the icon for our simply video player so we will place this on the top and for that we will write the command so for that we will write image underscore icon we will create a variable and that would be equal to we will create a photo image object i will tell you about it and here we will write the location of the file we want to place it as the icon photo and name of our file is logo png dot png so now we will write the command root dot icon photo so this is the function here icon photo and in this we will pass false comma image icon that is in which we have stored our logo and now we will save this and run it so first we have to close up previous tick into window so we'll close it and it will run our program and you can see that we have placed the logo for simply video player so i will tell you about the photo image object first and we have used the icon photo method and that is used to set the title bar icon of any tick in term window but to set any image as the icon of title bar image should be the object of photo image object we have created the photo image object so what this photo image object is about so when we just use the photo image and pass the file location in that it would create a photo image object so you can use it in any widget after you create the photo image object and you can pass it as any argument as image argument in any widget and the image object is returned by the photo image function it's easy to display a picture in python however the photo image class only supports the gif 
and PPM formats, which is a concern. And JPEG and JPG and PNG are the formats that are most often used. And we are using the PNG, so there's no any problem to use that. So moving on, we will create a frame in our take enter window. For that, we'll write the command lower underscore frame. And that would be equal to TK. That was the last name we are using for take enter. Now paired frame. And inside here we will pass root and we'll set the background color as white and we'll write the hexa code for the color white here and that is six times f and now we'll use the pack function here we will paste this frame that we will use the variable we have created and the pack widget here uh, we have to place it in the period so that was showing error else it would be treated as a comment only as we have used the hashtag and we didn't place it in inverted commas so now we'll pack it and Inside we'll use the properties as fill equal to both. So it would be fitted in the whole window. And we will place this at the bottom of the take and turn window. So for that we'll write side equal to bottom. And moving on. Now we will create the patterns and before creating the patterns first we should see the demonstration of what we are going to make so for that i will take you to a code that is this we will run our program and you can see this is the take and window and this is the simply video player we have placed the icon there and we have to add other functions that would be the browse and then we will place other button that would be play pose forward backward and the slider so that you can reach to any duration you want to see on the video you would be playing so we'll close it as we have clicked on the play pose button it has yeah it has given an error here. so we will run it again so when we click on browse it would direct us to any path you want to play one of our own videos that would be mp3 player using python and then we'll click on play you can see that our video is playing so this is the demonstration of what we are going to make now we will start with placing our buttons and after that we will add the functioning to them so we will create the browse button first for that we will create a variable load button that would be equal to tk load button and inside us root and we will set the text equal to browse and set the background color for button and that would be white only into three four five six hexagon for white and we will also set the font for the browse button and we have to place this hexa code in inverted commas else it would be termed as the comment only it would be starting with a hash so we have to place it in inverted commas and now we will set the font for our browse button and that would be 
we'll set it as Calibri and we'll also set the font size so first we'll set it as Calibri and we'll set the font size as 12 and we'll also make it bold it's and we have to place it down brackets yeah. and now we will make a command for this button so what does this function like what functioning will this will this button do so for that we'll write command equal to and we will name our function is load video only we will create this function and add the functioning to browse the mp4 files now we will pack this button for that we will write the command to button dot pack and inside we will use padding in x direction that would be 12 and padding in y direction we will set it as 4 and anchor anchor is where you want to place the button so i will place it in the northwest that is in the upper left direction so for that we'll write the command tk dot nw northwest the anchor is the positioning of the button anchor equal to tk dot northwest oh sorry so we have added the padding x and y Moving on, we will create the tkinter video that would be the window in which our video would be playing. For that, first we will create a variable video underscore player, and that would be equal to tkinter video would be easy that function and inside we will pass root scaled equal to true so you can visit the take enter video official page and you can see these functionings there you would easily understand like why they are working and what's the functioning and now we'll pack this window so for that we will use the variable and pack it we will expand the window and ask it to fill in both the directions i will show you all the functioning as we will create all the buttons and then we will create the functions for them so what command we would be placing in these buttons after that you would be able to see the thing in window so now we would uh, be making the backward button <coughs> so for that we will create a variable and name it as button backward and here we will use a photo like a picture uh, in this picture you could see that clearly the folder we have placed so this is the backward image we will use this on the button so for that we will create the photo image object And inside the photo image object, we will place the location of the file 
uh, as it's already located in the same folder so we'll just write the name of the file that is backward.png okay and showing the it's showing an error we have to place it in inverted commas Now we will create another variable aiming as back and inside we will create the button pk dot button and inside we will pass lower frame as we will place all these buttons on the lower frame we have created so lower frame comma and here we will pass the image and in image we will pass the variable in which we have created the photo image object and so the name of the variable is button backward and now we will set is border as 0 and height equal to 50 and width also equal to 50 And now we'll ask this to ask this to function and for that we'll use the command and inside we'll use lambda and we'll create a function with the name skip and we'll skip five seconds. the pack widget to pack this button we will place it in the side that would be left so we'll be defining the function skip in the meantime uh, before we will make another button that would be the forward button and the play pause button as we have seen in the demonstration so first we will create the play pause button for that we will create a variable and inside we will pass lower frame and here we will name text that would be displaying on button that would be play and we have to place it in inverted commas and we will set the width for this button that would be 40 and we will also set its height that would be equal to 2 that will be sufficient and now we will add the function to it we will declare the play pose button we will name it play pose only as it will be functioning play and pose now we will pack this button for so that we will use the variable name that is play pose button and now we'll use the pack widget and inside we will expand this button as you've seen in the demonstration to expand it we will use expand equal to true and fill equal to both sides okay and we'll place it at side hmm. so
and side equal to left. Now we will create the forward button. So for that we will create a variable as button forward and inside we will create the photo image object and inside we will pass the file location as we have already located the file in the same folder so we will just name it we will write the name of the file that is forward.png you can see in the folder that it's forward we will use this image now we have created the photo image object and now we will create the button for that we will write the command um, create a variable and name it as play button to create a button we would write the command tk dot button and inside this would be placed on the lower frame only and image code and the variable button forward so now we would set its border equal to zero height equal to 50 and width equal to 50 and we'll also define its command that would be equal to we'll use lambda and inside here we will be forwarding the video for 5 seconds and it would be lambda and now we'll name the function as skip we'll create a single function and if we pass plus 5 it would be forwarding the video with 5 seconds and if we pass minus 5 it would be backwarding the video with 5 seconds now we will use the back widget to place this button we would declare the side is left So now we have created the buttons. Now moving on, we will define some functions now and we will start with so these are the buttons. Now we'll define some functions. So we will start with the duration to update the duration for that we'll name the function as update underscore duration and inside we'll pass the event any event that we would be clicking on the slide bar so for that first we will create a variable duration and inside we would be using the video info method and inside the square brackets we would pass the duration <coughs> and now the end time We will create a variable so, with the name end time and pass text in that 
and that would be equal to string we'll use the date time module here and time delta and inside seconds would be equal to duration so time delta it's a duration of time that is used for manipulating time only so we would be using here And now we will create for the slider for that we will create a variable progress underscore slider and inside the square brackets pass the duration that is to which time we would be directing it to and after that we will create another function and name it as update scale that would be the scale of the slide bar so we will name the function as update underscore scale and we'll pass the event in that and now we'll use progress underscore value variable and set it and pass the variable id underscore player that we have created for video player that would be the current duration so it would fetch the current duration we would be updating the scale with the current duration for that we have used the current duration method and we will find another function that would be the load video And we have placed a command also for the load video. So this function would be adding the functionality to the browse button. For that, we will create a variable and named as file path and use the file dialog class. And function ask open file name and inside if file underscore path And if video player is loading the file path, so the progress slider and figure. to zero duration and the from duration would also be equal to zero we will declare the progress slider so do not worry and now at the function
And now we will some functionality. Set this only. So we will set the button as play. As you have seen that our button would be displaying two options. That would be play and the pause. And if we open the file, so it would set the slider to zero only and the button to the play. For that, we will write play underscore pause underscore button. That is the variable of the play pause button. And inside we would pass the text in the square brackets that would be play when we would be choosing any mp4 file so we would be setting the button as play and progress underscore value not set now we'll create another function and name it as seek and inside we'll pass the value and due to this function we would be using to seek a specific time frame so for that we'll Use the function seek and we'll pass the integer value in that and now we will declare the skip function that we would be adding the command to both our buttons that would be the forward button and the backward button and inside we'll pass value in the form of integer so this would be used to skip the setting uh, second sorry <coughs> so here we would be calling our seek function and inside we we'll pass integer and progress slide what duration we want Put get function the value you want to make it forward so we will just declare the progress slider variable so don't worry we will sort it out you could see that uh, we have used the seek function here and we'll also use the set function now we'll use the set function that is already defined we don't have to create and so for that we will write the command progress underscore value dot set and inside we will pass progress underscore slider and use the get function yes value So now we will declare the play pose function so it would be used to play and pause the video so we'll use if else statement here if
so before defining this function first we will create the variable that is video player and here we'll use the tick enter window module side will pass root and scaled equal to true and now we will use the variable and packet Expand this equal to true both sides and t would be kept up for true so before creating this function first we will create the variables so that we don't get confused so We'll start with start time start underscore time and that would be equal to tk. We'll create a label and inside we will pass root and text equal to string inside will pass date time dot time delta and we'll set seconds equal to zero and now we will use the pack widget for this so start underscore time root pack and we will place its side as left and now we will create another variable that is progress underscore value that is equal to tk dot where and we'll pass root into it and now we will create the variable progress slider and that would be we will create a scale here inside we'll pass the root we'll pass the variable that would be the progress value as it keeps on changing and we will start this scale from 0 and 2 and 0 so in starting it would be in the initial point only both the from and zero scale from and to equal to zero okay now we will set its orientation it's horizontal and we will set its command equal to seek we have defined the seek function so now this would be easy for you guys to understand it now we'll pack this progress slider
set it side equal to left and it should fill the x that it's width so for that we'll write fill equal to x and expand equal to true So we have created the variable start time, progress value, progress slider. So we are left with end time. And this will create a label. Pass root into that. And text equal to We'll convert it into string that would be date time dot time delta and inside will pass seconds that would be equal to zero and now we'll use the pack configure pack configure widget to pack it so Back and side equal to left. So set. Video player will use the bind function and inside will pass duration okay oh, we have defined it here so we'll Clear this beneath the video player so variable. Now we will update the duration here. So we'll pass the update duration and if video player dot bind and if it's second changed So we will update the scale here. And if video player load point ended. So what will pass the video ended function? Not created the video ended function, so we will create that. We have created the update duration, update scale, the video ended. So we are left with video ended function and the play pause function. So we will complete that first. So if video player
इस पोस्ट सो सेट वीडियो प्लेयर टू प्ले देन क्लिक ऑन द प्ले और पोस्ट बटन एंड नाउ विल सेट इट्स टेक्स्ट टी अंडर स्कोर पोस्ट अंडर स्कोर button and inside the square brackets we will pass the text that would be equal to <coughs> if the video player is paused so we will play it and set the button text as pause and else video player is else if the video player is playing we would make it as pause we'll use the pause function there and set the text and score Force underscore button. For text, we'll use the square brackets. We'll set it as play. So we are done with the play pause function. Now we are left with the video ended function. So that create the function and pass the event through it so it would handle the video when the video would be ended okay, so we have to this above We'll arrange them first. We'll complete our function. So, for that, use progress slider and set it as progress underscore slide. Slider and pass the two the duration at which it would be ended and set the play pause button text pass this in square brackets as play as the video would be completed so we would turn this back into the play and we will set the progress slider set at zero yeah. so now we'll see what else we are getting so we are resolved with the errors automatically. So we'll save the file and click on play button. 
Mm, yeah, what's the matter? In line 66, and you can go and out. And then again, okay. Our browse button is not showing. So now let's save this and run again. This will close the previous window and run it again. Okay, so we are getting our browse button downwards. Okay. Is the video player between as these are in the packings only so first we will place our browse button then the video player then the backward button then the post button and then the forward button and we have named it as play we will save this and run it So I've closed the previous taken to window. Now you can see that the browse button has come at its position. So we'll click on the browse button. Let's open in the downloads and there is MP3 player using Python only. Click on the play button. The file is playing. Click on the pause button and you can see the functioning of forward and backward buttons so we are done with the project if you have any doubt you could just ping in the comment section and with that we have come to the end of this session and i have something for you guys just wait So if you are aiming to get certified in Python programming course and you want to build a Python software development career, in that case you can check this Python certificate course by Simply Learn, which will open the doors for the best career options and the opportunities. To find the details of this Python certification course, you can check in the link in the description box below. It would be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. And I hope this session was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below and also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.